Here are three baritones. We're only going to talk about two of them, but I have three on the table. Just to look at them from afar, they pretty much look the same, right? This is an all-solid acacia. This is my Kala. Solid cedar top sells for around 300 bucks. And this is my Kent. This ukulele dates back to the 1960s, I do believe. It came to me all smashed up, but I did some repair as best I could. This one cost me $15. So my question is, which ukulele came set up best? That is, which ukulele has the lowest action that allows you to play it easily without buzzing? Well, let's check. It's actually a very photogenic ukulele. In person, close up, it looks pretty cheap, but it has always sounded great. This is my little action piece of paper. Most of the ukuleles I have, I find the string on the 12th fret will fit just underneath this line here. For some reason, Cadence yellow ukuleles have lower action than the others. So, the 12th fret is right here. And this ukulele looks to me to be just a teeny tad higher than most of my ukuleles. And that goes for baritone, soprano, concert, and all the rest. It was just a tad higher, but quite acceptable. Let's look at the collar now. What a beauty, for sure. Sounds great. 12th fret. So the collar is actually, in my opinion, I haven't measured them all. But this is the worst setup I have on a baritone ukulele. It's quite a bit higher than the other ukuleles I have. I was surprised to see that. That might explain why I don't play it very much. In fact, I don't play it at all except to show it. So let's listen to them. Thank you. 
Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. See what you can see. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream to see what you can see. See. Thanks for watching.